Hey folks, today we're going to look at how to upgrade or bring records from an old database into a new database. This year it's particularly important because federal reporting will be coming in late summer into the fall, so we need our 1415 database to be all set and tidy, and we also need to upgrade and bring in our new databases, new records into the new database for the July to June 1516 period. My folder system here is all hopefully organized. I've got 1516 database. I'm going to get one in there. I've got my old database here. I have a master blank copy that I can use. And in order to do a upgrade from bring records from one database into a new one, if I want to bring records into my brand new copy, I got to put them in the same folder uh, with a blank copy, which will become my 1516 database plus my 1415 database for which I'm going to get the records. I must name it this way. It's case sensitive, so put in capitals and lowercase o. They must be in the same folders side by side so they can talk to each other. If you don't have version 4.2D, you certainly can go Google Vermont After School Wiki, go to the FileMaker 21C database page, and right here download uh, the 4.2 file and get it in that folder here. So it's always good to have a master copy at hand so you can do this quickly, but you're going to need that master in this upgrade folder next to your old database so they can talk to each other. So now I'm going to bring records from my 1415 database, my student records, into my 1516 or new database. I'm going to open the uh, new blank master. I'll rename this later. In order to do the upgrade, to bring those records in, I go to Scripts, Admin, Upgrade. Read the instructions carefully. We've already done this, but rename your old database 21st STCCLC uppercase OLD lowercase. Put it in the same folder as the new database. It's not going to work if you don't do this. Now, what do I want to bring in? I only want to bring in my student list. I don't need to bring forward these things for the 1516 database. I'll click Import, and I'm done. So I had a master blank database. Now I should have brought in students, and here they are. So I've got 99 students. I brought them forward. Now, these students have changed their grades, and the older youth have graduated out, so I'll need to get rid of those records and also change these records so that it's accurate. There's another video you can see on that, so please do look at that, and then you'll be done. Let's quickly go back to my file system. So what I have now in my upgrade folder is a nice new copy. So I'm going to close out, rename it, because this is my new database, right? So, I don't know, 15, 16 master. And what I'm going to do is reopen it, save a copy as, and see if I can type and think at the same time. Yeah, of course, I, hold on a sec here. So I'm going to save a copy as, and I'm going to get that in my new folder. This will be my 1516 master, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to save it right here. It's got the student records in there. I'm good to go. And then I'm going to keep these things clean. My upgrade folder I don't need anymore. Well, I get rid of this. Now this was my old 1415 database. I already have another copy of that, so I don't need it. But I might want to put that in a folder as well if, it, if it's active. All right, so now I did it. I've got my old database in here, ready for, uh, it's all clean and ready for reporting again. New database in there.